Launching it in front. La Chapelle into the net, and there she goes. She is off the schneid with goal number one on the season. After she led the team with five goals as a sophomore in 2012, Sharis LaChapelle took five matches to find the net in her junior campaign. Once it took six more matches for Sharis to score her second, the appearance of fading firepower might have put some players under pressure. But not LaChapelle. Not at all. Everyone has the ability to make an impact on the team. So I didn't feel pressure that oh, I'm the only one that can score. Like, I need to be the one scoring. If Sharis has put any pressure on herself, it, it's just a competitiveness, which I believe they all have, because they all want to do well and represent Texas the way that they're supposed to. Representing Texas is something La Chapelle got the chance to do when she decided to transfer after her freshman year at the University of Houston. With Sharis hotly pursued by both Tennessee and Texas, Coach Angela Kelly broke out the big guns setting up a meeting between her star recruit and football coach, Mac Brown. Coach Brown spent about 30 minutes with her, and uh, gosh, did I ever get an education on the University of Texas. He almost made me feel silly for considering Tennessee because he asked me questions like, so where did you grow up? And I was like, Texas. Where did you like play soccer? Where did you go to school? Texas. Where do you want to live after college? Texas. And we were driving away from the football practice field, and she thought, gosh, how could I even consider any place else? And I said, I don't know, Sharis, I, I, I don't know. La Chapelle's connection to that other form of Longhorn football was born early in life, watching games with her dad during the glory days of the mid 2000s. Toes in zone, cut! Touchdown, Texas! I loved Vince Young and so did he. I had a jersey and I would wear it. La Chapelle may have watched football with her father, but her soccer education was handled by two older sisters. They definitely toughened me up because I survived quite a few punches from them, so it's good. La Chapelle's background made it no surprise when she eventually overcame her slow start this season, exploding for a pair of crucial goals versus Baylor. And this one whipped into the near post and it goes! A flashed in header from Sheriff La Chapelle. What a goal from Texas! La Chapelle knifing into the box to steer home the cross. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just joyful and happy and exciting, and especially when you're playing a ranked opponent, an opponent that you have a rivalry against. World-class goals. So although perhaps she hadn't scored in the last couple of games, teams are having to be aware that she's always capable of that. She puts pressure on herself sometimes, but she just she's willing to sacrifice any part of her body or anything to get her goal. She's just one of those players that gives her all, all the time. My teammates set me up really nicely and we were able to execute. So we believe that we're good and we believe that we can win the Big 12 tournament and go far into NCAA. So we're looking forward to the end of our season.